Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online. So, in the last episode, we were left off on a bit of a betrayal. The big man just completely just betrayed her, stuck his gun in her face and was gonna take her down. But luckily, the blend is a little bit too good for him and that's not how it worked. And he just kind of groveled and cried for his mommy or something and uh, I'm hoping we get some kind of explanation for why he turned on her. I mean, it was obviously because of the letter he wrote, but I, I want more specifics on that, so let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Not how I expected to start the episode. Sure. I mean, she might taste good. I wouldn't mind trying her out. Okay, here we go. This is where I expected to start. So what do you do, Len? He did say he was a coward, but I wasn't quite expecting this. <laughs> Take it like a man, it's a video game. <laughs> That's actually, that actually wouldn't be an explanation, yeah. Uh, but no. Is somebody really threatening him in real life? Is that what he's implying? This is not sort of online, buddy. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we did have some of that in Gun Gale Online before, so I guess that could be what this is as well. <laughs> uh... uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, obviously, yeah. Was there ever any question about that? Well, they knew each other in real life, I'm sure. <laughs> I think I was trying to get an idea. Or, or you're crazy, one of the two. But I'm leaning on pizza. But yeah, pretty much, I mean, it was always before, but that does confirm that they knew each other in real life. So not quite the same thing that happened in Gun Gale. The original Gun Gale, but... Where we had those... Players from ex players from SAO that couldn't get, couldn't let go of the, the thrill of that life or death thing and was killing off people in real life. It was not quite that, but she's, she's a scary person, is what we're getting at here. But I do like our theory, initial theory was did somebody switch players with you? Because <laughs> that, that would explain this behavior. Yeah, I just hand the headset over to someone else. Because that could happen as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for those of you with virtual reality, PC virtual reality headsets, it's actually a game that came out fairly recently, fairly recently called Beat Saber. So, if you ever want to feel like Kirito in that one scene with the lightsabers hitting stuff, that game will get you pretty close to that feeling. So, if you have an Oculus Rift or a HTC Vive or one of those. Windows Mixed Reality Headsets. You might want to pick up that game. Beat Saber. It's pretty good.
Uh, if only she was playing SAO. Unless I'm playing she was in SAO, which is also possible. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll kill you now, so... Okay. <laughs> it probably are. Yeah, go be a coward somewhere. I got this, don't worry. I don't know, bring something more camouflagey. Gotta go fast. <laughs> What's wrong with being a coward? I mean, if you want to be a coward, it's, you know, your prerogative, but... Don't expect everyone to have sympathy for you. There's... There's an enemy. Can you hit her, though? She's pretty fast, and small, and cute, but that's not really relevant here. I mean, it could be. I would have difficulty shooting a cute girl. Rocks, why don't you get in my way? She's behind you. Ah, uh, she got nicked. But not as bad as the other girl. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you lucked out of that one. Its name is Peachon. And there she is. <laughs> Slicing you with the... I think she's done for. But you can't stand still. <laughs> uh, big girl. Kind of the opposite of, uh, of Len. He's in the game. I don't know, maybe you took the sunglasses off, it worked better. You're playing a game where people shoot each other, Len. Yeah, title makes sense. Dead. Quick, use our corpse as a shield. I mean, I would personally have better uses for that corpse, but I'm not gonna get into that. One shot, one kill. Probably not. Uh, could be worse, could be better. Surprised they're not pink. <laughs> uh, some dark things she casually says. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to help anything. But you'll click around at a bullet and be screwed. Yeah, it's it's not a good thing. You can. It, the odds aren't great, but you definitely can. Huh. <laughs> 
I don't know. The more you talk of this, the more I assume you're going to lose. Especially now that you just lost ammo. And a lot of health. <laughs> she is a lucky girl. Not really a fair fight, like, at all. It happens. They're hard to spot sometimes. <sighs> yeah. But, you know. Mistakes will be made. <laughs> I'm still a lucky girl. Rocks in my way again. Da. <laughs> Well, the rock might not be that much longer. <laughs> you have a grenade as well. We make good use of it. Ready for the run? It should offer a bit of a smoke screen. Or, you know, a fire screen. Yes. It was obviously not to point it out. She didn't get this this far for no reason. <laughs> Calm down. Running is not going to... Solve the problem, though. Teamwork with him? I'd be okay with you getting close to me. Oh my gosh, she reads minds. Yeah, the enemy is that way. Is the gun talking to her? Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I... Sure. Oh my god. I was not ready for that. She's here. She's as cute as always. Oh my god. Uh, she's going full Matrix. Very playful. Here we go. Yep, get up close and personal. I know, right? Isn't it great? Cool, lucky girls don't look at explosions. <laughs> Ouch, that... how? <laughs> Her health keeps taking a beating. Hey, Chan, I'm sorry I let you down. Please give me some words of advice. They focus on that grenade for a reason. Because I was gonna get shot. And considering where that came from, it must have been around him. That was a good shot, though. Yes. No one else it would be. You decided to be useful? I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. I'm at a safe distance, so I feel safe. 
She looks so cool sometimes. <laughs> little first person view. Ah, my foot! I would never dream of it. Oh! This is a gun game, not a... Not a mixed martial arts MMA type game. What, did she not die when she was killed? <laughs> Actually, it reminds me of a certain scene from Upota. <laughs> oh, she's an immortal object. <laughs> well, the thing she shot was. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't fire off all your rounds at once. <laughs> Just throws the magazine at her. Uh, let's see if you can block bullets. No, but that's still pretty badass. <laughs> she is strong. <laughs> yeah, the adrenaline and endorphins and all that. <laughs> Len. Sure for Karen. Ava. <laughs> but one of you is a lot stronger than the other physically. <laughs> It's just a game, it's fine. Shoot them both. <laughs> right in the side. This is getting intense quickly. Right to the head, too. There's no getting up from that. Yeah. Oh my god, is it gonna go in? <laughs> Wow. Hello. It's not good. Yes, listen to Pichan. I hope she's blocking these with Pichan. I dare you do that to Pichon? Yeah. You destroyed my friend. Holy shit. It's the most terrifying she's looked. And the music, the music's so good. <laughs> uh, this is how a small person fights a big person. <laughs> she's taking her the advice from him to heart. This, I got chills, man. Oh man, that had HP. It's almost gone. <laughs> and oh my god. Uh. <laughs> and she just bleeds out. My god, this scene is so cool. I just, the chills are just too much. Yeah, you don't want to die much right of that. <laughs> I do this episode, this might be my favorite Sword Art Online anime ever. Are they gonna hit each- no, they're gonna barely pass each other. Is him gonna get hit as well? But that was a nice clean shot. Yep, he got hit too. But what matters is their lead is still alive. Man, that was that was a great fight to end this off on. That was amazing. I was really into that. Uh uh. Love jumping to conclusions. He just moved it forward to block the bullet, probably. <laughs> that he does. Int. My god. Uh, that, was, that was so good. They actually ended up winning. I'm a little bit surprised and really happy for them. It 
probably did in reality. <laughs> Close to the head. Half of which was from Lynn. Oh my god. That was probably the best episode so far, I would say it is. Definitely my water after that. Like, that last battle there, man, that's the kind of thing you put in AMVs. Ugh. I mean, honestly, M coming in kind of last minute to help out and kind of save the day, that was predictable. I'm not going to say it wasn't. I knew that was going to happen, but it was still executed well enough. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sweating. I mean, I was sweating before because it's hot in here, but that didn't help. Dun 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 So a little bit left. Reality looks like. It's no bother. What? Okay. <laughs> Did she? I don't see her in real form very often, so. Uh, one of those characters looks much a lot more like a main character than the others. <laughs> uh, be careful what you wish for, folks. Grass is always greener and all that. So they get a haircut, because that's how anime characters re represent their character development. Not say completely. <laughs> In a video game. <laughs> uh, it's a good day for you. Oh, oh, is that really her? Oh my god. I figured, I mean... I figure tall people in the game will be short people in real life, is what I'm trying to say. Sure, no problem. <laughs> they all bow before my greatness. They know I'm a pink devil deep down. I'm pretty sure it is the case. They're probably all the team members. And she has a P90 on her, on her bag. Okay. <laughs> so she does know, yeah. It's quite a thing to see somebody as you look up to them. <laughs> uh, Deco, a giant woman, or Amazon, they translated it. So that was the fifth episode of Sorter Online Alternative Gun Gale Online. And this episode was fantastic. So apparently the reason for him's actions is just because Pito threatened him, because they clearly know each other in real life. There's no no doubt about that at this point. Uh, although I do look forward to seeing both of their real forms at some point. Uh, you know, because I still think Pito might be the one the one idol girl. But anyway, uh pretty much this left Len by herself to face off against that entire team. Which is bad, because I mean, they were already at disadvantage just with two on like five or whatever they were there to, the other team was. And so, yeah, Len was doing her best. She was doing very well, but she kept getting hit here and there, losing HP, losing bullets. It was it was a bad situation, but in spite of that, she was holding her own rather nicely. 
Eventually, she had a, a conversation with Peach on her P90, which apparently spoke to her, which was weird. It was that was funny, but it was the eyes appearing on that that really got me. That that's what got me really. That was just my God, Lynn. But yeah, after she kind of did some of that, she realized that she won all her victories by getting up close and personal with her opponents, being very agile, not by running away, which is when you're most vulnerable to snipers, of course. So yes, that's what she did. She got up close, was attacking them. She eventually got some support from him as a sniper because he was at a safe distance, because him being the, the coward that he is. He was able to help though, shooting them, shooting grenades on their on their waist, and just doing whatever he can to, to support her. And because of that, she was able to win in the end. I did like her one-on-one -on -one encounter with Boss, the Amazon, with Ava. That was great. That little encounter there was the highlight of the entire episode. That was just so well done. The, the looks on on her face when she destroyed her peach on that just the music starting to play just it was that was such a well executed scene I loved it so much it got me so pumped into it like uh, a lot of time with action scenes in anime I'm not really that great at reacting to it like physically I'm just like oh, that's it's pretty cool I guess but that that just got me really into it man I was really sucked into that so yeah that that's that's what that was and in the end our main team actually did end up winning the squad jam which is really cool and to make to make it even better we got to see them in real life they just got a real life congratulatory handshake because she was able to tell that Kodan was led in the game probably the keychain the little pink keychain probably gave her away but yeah that did reveal that she didn't know who she was and that was great just having her call her you know chibi or whatever when she's like bigger than her that was that was quite funny and I was right about the whole thing they were doing where some big characters in the game were going to be small in real life, so they were doing that uh, as well. Anyway, yeah, it was good stuff. I do look forward to see, hopefully seeing him and Pito in real life at some point, a bit of an offline meeting with Len. I mean, I don't see why we wouldn't get that. We should get that at some point. Hopefully. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.